It's like a pizza crunch without the butter. It's like a work crunch without the water. You never get the nickels off of a fucking crunch. It's premeditated butter. Premeditated butter. See, it's old fun zone, mate. It's like my street is full of fucking absolute stoters. I don't aye. know if you noticed in the way in there. No, it was empty, man. Oh, was it? Aye, aye, mate. Fucking, they were all singing outside, man, before the old fun game started. Do you know what the score was? Two each. Was it two each? I remember seeing, uh, I think I seen it when it popped. I don't bother my ass with it, man, but if it's an old fun, I kind of am curious to know how it turns out. But, uh, so, uh, aye, I seen that, that Selick scored first, man, but I never really fucking followed. Do you bother the ass with it? Nah, I don't bother my ass with it. I used to, man, but no, anyway. Aye, one of the ones. I was when I was younger. Don't get me wrong, Steve. The old firm zone, some cunts like that, I'm having a few cunts of lying, I'll bounce a lying, but I couldn't care less what the score was. I used to do scaffolding, and I worked with a squad that were heavy, like, die-hard Rangers fans, let's see, like, the harnesses you'd get for a scaffolder. Aye. See, the colour was green, and they refused to wear them. That, they kind of cunts, know what I mean? <laughs> the, 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 the orange man, shit like that. And I used to work with them, and see, Rangers were in the Europa League. Fucking see, it was like every Thursday night they would play. So see, if Rangers won, they'd aye. dob it off as fucking next day, and you'd get a can to <laughs> a shift. So at that point in my life, I was like, ah, fucking hope Rangers do all right. <laughs> I mean, it's the only time I've ever supported them, man. But how's life for yourself anyway, mate? You all good? Aye, good, man. Just dropped the album, fucking. It's doing quite well, man. Nah, mate, I listen to it all alone, man. It's fucking see what I can say about yourself. You're totally different for a lot of like the rappers in Scotland, especially because your shit's so raw. It Cheers, is, it's, cu- it's straight for the heart, you don't hear many people, I feel, and I, I include myself in this, a lot of people, I think they try to sound a certain way, you ju- I just feel as if you use your music as a kind of therapy, is that no, what it, it is, is for you? I, my music, I'm just trying to prevent suicide, man. And yourself? Or just no, another... f- for other people, because even, I've been suicidal a couple of times in my life, and music's helped me big time, man. Uh-huh. So fucking, it was only music that spoke to me, so after my ma died, man, I was like... I was broken, man, but I was like, I need to do something, and I ended up getting into rap. I heard a couple of Mike Righteous's tunes, and uh-huh. I was greeting, man. I was like, that's, I can feel that, you know what I mean? Like, that's talking to me, and fucking, I was suicidal in the hostel, went through a bad patch, man, but I ended up, his music broke me through it, man. Did and it, aye? Aye, broke me through it, man. I, was saying that I was like, this is what I need to do with my music. I need to give this gift back. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I mm-hmm. uh, see uh, when you listen to Mike Rice, just because I, I listen to him and he's fucking raw as fuck, man. He doesn't leave any stone unturned. Would you say, did you listen to that much before that? Or was he the kind of first delve into it? Uh, no, when I was in Pullman, I started collecting two pack CDs, man. Uh-huh. I don't know why. I just wanted my room. He's, see, I always had a theme in my cell. Uh-huh. Like, Fucking, you know, you get all the gels and that in Pullman, aye, and all the posters. Aye. But I ended up just getting two pack posters, two pack CDs, and fucking done my full room two pack, man. Got all sorts oh, of really, canvases aye. and that. Have you shrine? Aye, but I found myself collecting the albums, see if there were different holes in it. Uh-huh. And fucking, I ended up with like five of them or something, but I used to listen to them every night. I, didn't, I never watched the telly. I just done my press ups every day listening to fucking two pack, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up writing main raps. And I was showing a couple of boys in the hall and that, and they are like, oh, that's, that's good, Danny, man, you should keep that up. And fucking, when I got out, got out of Pullman, uh, I was in the hostel, and one of the guys, Graham, big Graham, man, he's a good big cunt, he's like, uh, if you want to take your lyrics serious, I'll take you a group, a group called Volition, Loki ran it. Right. It was basically just, uh, he rented out a place, and there was be like, 15 years with all go for all your, like Scotland uh-huh. and we'd just do ciphers every day right. but that's where I met YB and Sean Boy mm-hmm. fucking I, I was sitting down obviously I, the first time I was there I wasn't spitting my rhymes right and I was just watching people you know what I mean getting yeah, the gist of it yeah. and I heard YB and Sean going back to back my mind was blown man I was like what I was like so Scottish rap's actual thing obviously I'd heard Mog and that you know what I mean but mm-hmm. like to hear like two cunts my age doing it, Aye. fucking back to back, like heavy flow, and that it was amazing, man. I couldn't sleep that night. Really? Uh, I, 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 wasn't I, was, like, I couldn't sleep, man. I was <laughs> like, this is what I want to do with my life, man. But I was up YB's after all that happened. I was up YB's. We ended up starting Sinister South. Aye. That's me, YB, Sean Boy, and Nancy. Mm-hmm. And fucking, uh, I was just spitting scheme lyrics, basically, just like about the jail, not daft shit, you know what I mean? And YB introduced me to Mike Righteous, 
Oh, did you actually meet him then? No. Oh, like, so just his music, YouTube, right, 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 his music, like, right, 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 right. I was like nearly in tears, man. I was like, I've been back, downloaded his mixtapes, man. Fucking, I'd done blasting. I was like, this is what I want to do in my life, man. I want to touch people with music. I want to fucking prevent suicide, you know what I mean? Because I, I feel like, see, my ma, I treated my ma like shit, man. It was, it was bad, also. I was just a wee guy, you know what I mean? We all kind of, you know what I mean? But like, mm-hmm. when my ma committed suicide, it was like, I always blame myself, you know what I mean? Because I was like, if I could have loved her more, maybe she would have wanted to stay, or if I was a better son or whatever, man. But I was like, always felt guilt. And like, when, there was a time in my life when I woke up and like, I came aware of everybody I'd ever hurt, everything I'd ever done, you know what I mean? I yeah, was so like, you felt empathy for the empathy, first time, you I, just I, say? I, uh, I felt guilt for everything I'd done and I was like, I need to change my life, man. I need to fucking, I need to do something positive with my life, you know what I mean? I, I need to stop being a fucking scumbag, man. Yeah, what was, uh, what do you think set that off, the feelings? Did it just one day you just woke up or was there a chain of no, events that led to that? No, it was like, a chain of events, aye. So after my mom died, fucking, I ended up getting a long sentence. I was fucking... Uh, it came at the start of my sentence. I was boxing every day. I'd go down to the digger, three days digger, back up, fighting that day, back down to the digger, end up getting a month through. Fucking, I was fighting all the way to, I went to Monroe 3, and I was like, right, I'm taking the gym series. I was like, fuck all this fighting shit. You know what I mean? It's no worth it. And fucking, because I ended up with like 100 enemies, you know what I mean? Every time I was going on the route, I was like, ah, <laughs> fucking two pens in my pocket, you know what I mean? <laughs> two uh, up to the <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, fucking, I'm sick of this, man. I'm paranoid at my nut, man. <laughs> it was like, fucking. But I ended up, when I went into Blair House, I was only benching 40 key, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm getting a long sentence, man. I was like, I'm going to smash this gym, man. I'm, I'm going to be one of the biggest cunts in here. And like, it took me like, I was in Blair House for 16, 17, 18, so two year, I went up to the older halls, I was benching, I think it was 70, 65, 70, mm-hmm. and I ended up working out, do you know Matthew McCann? Ah, I fake up, bridge. Aye. Ah, I know Matthew, I know Matthew I, well. Ended up going to the gym with him, fucking he showed us how to do a workout, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think he's a fucking beast, that guy. He's a big boy, man. Uh, he's a big boy, man. Fucking a couple of big boys up there, man. They, they fucking, they are showed us the ropes, man. Uh, do you know JP? JP, if you were. Greenock. Ah, he's the lifer. Then the lifer. Ah, I know JP. Wait, what's his pal's name again? David Payton. David Payton. Uh, aye. I haven't died. Ah, he died in a car uh, crash, didn't he? I died in a car crash quite aye. recently, aye. I went to the gym with Ato every day, man. I heard David Payton end up quite solid. When I left, he was like that, because I was in the Adam. Back, his back was ripping, mate. Oh, was it? When I left, I left in like 2013, they were, were kind of, kind of, the start of their sentences, no pure, maybe just started them, but quite in the early stages, man. Then I heard a few of the line, I was fucking ripping, man. Yeah, it was a shame he died, man. I know, I was shocked to hear that, man. I don't think he was at the J Long, was he? No, a couple of months. Fucking tragedy. I was actually talking to two boys from Port Glasgow about that. Uh, on, it was on this podcast, I know. I think fucking two of them died or something in the car crash and one fucking ended up losing his legs. Fucking tragedy, man. But that's a fucking shame, man. But how was life growing up for you, man? Because uh, obviously listening to your tunes, you, you bear all to the world, man, and it sounds like you've had a bit of a fucking upbringing. I always say that. It could have been worse, you know what I mean? But like, still here, you know what I mean? So, mm. uh I stayed in Wellhouse with my mom, my dad, my wee bra, my wee sisters. When I was like six, they were all younger than me. Fucking, my mom's mental health went out the window. She ended up getting sectioned. My dad ended up, he, can, he went through psychosis and all. Uh, he ended up getting done off a young team a couple of times. Fuck's Fucking, sake. he was climbing up a fence one day, trying to get away from him. They chopped him with a sword, man. He ended up that paranoid. He got a samurai sword. He's walking about with it. <laughs> got a shot yeah. with a sword. Fuck's he, sake. he ended up going into the chemist to get his meth with this big sword. That size, man. Fucking, he got to jail, didn't he? Did he just have it in his horn? Aye, he was Fuck. just walking about with it. Paranoid. Oh, right, he's not about with it in his horn. I thought he meant he had to like, stash no. it away. Fuck's <laughs> sake. I suppose they cannot approach him when he's got a sword. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, he got to jail for that, man. Fucking, we ended up in care. Uh, I went with my wee sister, Sammy Joe, the youngest one. Mm-hmm. Uh, my wee bra, my wee sister, they went separate, fucking, but my wee sister Sammy Jo, she ended up getting adopted a couple of months when we were in care, so I never seen her ever again, know what I mean? Fuck, right. Uh, I didn't get to see my, my wee bra or my wee sister either. They said that 
I think we had two visits or something, and they were saying that it was affecting my brother and my sister's mood, like, my behaviour and that, so, like, they stopped the visits. But them seeing you was affecting the behaviour they were saying, aye, like, negative? making them unsettled and that in their foster care. Fuck's so they were like, we need to stop it for a couple of months. Ended up turning into, like, ten years. Fucking hell, man. Aye, man. How was that for you, what age were you at this point? Eh, uh, I was about six. So did were you able to process what was going on at that age? No did really, you, man. Did, when did I was know? about seven, eight, I started pro- processing it. Oh, really? Aye, so were you still in uh, foster care at that point? Aye. Was that a home you were in? Foster care. So, was that a fo- so did you have a foster family? Aye. And how was it staying with the foster family? I hated it. I felt but, like an outcast, man. Really? Aye. aye. Did like, they make you feel kind of welcome in the family or what? Or was it one of the ones? Because I've never, I've been lucky and I've never I don't know. It. I've always been an awkward cunt, know what I mean? For yeah, all aye. the way for buff. Like, I don't know. It's just anxiety, mate. I fucking, like, we new people and that. I don't, like... I don't know, it takes me a while to kind of get just. so uh, like, get comfortable. So it'd be like, every time I'd get settled in a foster care, they would fucking move me, you know what I mean? Like, right, so you would I, go into like I, different families and that kind I, of I went yeah. to like 10 different families, man. Really? I, what I, was the cause for that? Is it just the, the Cause fa- I was unsettled. Right. I was getting bullied after other boys in the foster care, getting bullied in school, and then, cause I was not doing my work now, fucking usual shit as I mean, I was getting Trouble half the teachers, and then getting back home, I was getting trouble half the fucking foster girls, know what I mean? Oh, I thought she was just getting it for I, and I was getting to visit my mum and my dad once a month, and fucking, I remember it, I just turned seven, I think it was, and I waited all month, and fucking, I was like, like, I didn't care about everything that was going on, I was just looking forward to my visit, uh-huh. and turned up, man, they didn't turn up, I was oh, like, hell, man. I was broken, man, I had to wait another month, I remember that day, man, like, I was like, fuck it, I'm getting into school and I'm going to battle one of these dafties, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you, eh? No, man. Oh, did you? No, no. Shat, shat myself, man. Aye, but still, just that, that mindset, that age of seven, know what I mean? You're getting in ready to fucking take your anger out on someday, know what I mean? So, in terms of that, see, what led on after that? Did, was your mass still sectioned at this point? Your dad still in the jail? Uh, no, they got out. Fucking, uh, they, they were still staying in Easter House. Fucking, I get moved. Uh, I ended up going to a visit. Uh, the door went. Uh, my dad's like, "Who is it?" He's like, "It's Gio. That's my uncle." Yeah. My dad opened the door, and my uncle Gio smacked him in the head with a dumbbell bar. Fuck fucking hell. knocked him out, man. Blood everywhere. So fucking that was me. The visits get stopped. Fuck sake, man. Was this during the visit? Mm-hmm. Fucking hell. Was a visit a at their house. No, a, a visit at their their house. Right, so would you get dropped off there and yeah, you get dropped off there? And what, was it an hour or something? An hour. Right, so in that hour, did your uncle just sort of have to turn up? What did he do that for? Cause. Man, he gave my dad tenner to go get nappies or something, and he went and got a bag, didn't he? Fucking <laughs> hell, man. <laughs> Obviously, my uncle didn't know I was in visiting, or he wouldn't have done it. Ah, I mean, no, but of course, but still, it's still the fact that it's just been a pure, pure choice of time. Aye. So, see, Scary, that age, what, what age were you then? Were you still seven, seven, seven man? Aye. So, after that, did, did you have visits a, get stopped. But see, did you realise what kind of... Because obviously, that's a chaotic environment for something that we've grown up in. Were you aware? Was that just normal to you, or was that fucking like, this is madness? Uh, when I stayed with my mom and my dad, when I looked at the veranda, I used to kick my wall at the veranda all night, mm-hmm. and fucking I'd look at the veranda and I'd see Torin fighting with Barrel, mm-hmm. the main road where they box. That's every night I was watch at, watch them fighting. Oh really? Aye. Aye, I seen a, I couldn't fucking walk past my my clothes one day and he had a big kitchen knife sticking out his back, man. What the I fuck? I was like, da da. <laughs> yeah, that fucking. I, I remember I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was like. That's like something at the movies. I remember thinking, because my dad let me watch all the fucking Terminators and that, whatever, man. So I was watching violent films, man, but I was, I remember thinking to myself, that doesn't happen in films, that happens in real life or not. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you actually seen it in the real uh, world. Were you able to process it as being real but at that young uh, age, aye? It was weird, man. It was a weird feeling. So do you think you get desensitised to that kind of stuff as you got older because uh, you aye. were exposed to it for such a young age? So how did life go in for then? Obviously, you're the... You get your separated contact for your mum and dad at age of seven. Where did we uh, go for there? Went about, I think it was about four years, but I visit with them. So right. I wasn't seeing any of my family for about, well, I didn't see my brother and my sisters for 10 years. Didn't see my mum and dad for about three, four years. Uh, I ended up, I was unsettled, man, fighting in school all the time. Self harming, I was getting moved from foster home to foster home. That led up to when I was like 10, I must have went to, I think it was about, Six different primaries, man. Right, aye, aye. fuck. In the space of like, just been ten? The, 
before first year. So Fucking hell, man. 12. So what was happening? With going to, were you just getting packed out or what? Or were you getting moved about the place or what? What was happening? Either fighting with the boys in, in the foster care or because I was running away. When when I was 10, I stayed in Pollock, right? Right. And fucking, I don't know if you'll know the boy, but I'll, I'll speak about it later. Uh, I, I would run away and go hang about with the cross. Aye. Know what I mean? And they would take me gang fighting and all that. I was only about that height. <laughs> they, they, fucking, <laughs> they were all older, man, about 13, 14, oh, that. Aye, aye. I mean, he, he's like, the wee man can come, fuck see, Everybody was like, I'm not taking that wing because gang fighting, know what I mean? <laughs> so if he wants to go, let him fucking go. I was like, legend, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I, I was buzzing, man. But that night, we ended up fighting with a young team and get back. I was maybe in for 8 o'clock or something, it was 10 o'clock, I went back, the foster care was like, that's my last draw, you need to go, you've got to respite, and then we're going to find you somewhere else, and fucking, but that night, he murdered that cunt. Oh really, is that that aye, night That happened? night happened, aye. After you just left him or what? Aye. Fucking hell, A man. couple of hours later, aye, a junkie was fighting me, he's more or something, he went out and done him with a kitchen knife. Aye, aye, fucking hell, man. And fucking, but I remember it was all taped off. The full scheme was fucking shut down, man. Oh, it was, was it? Aye. Nah, it was mental, man. So, did you get shut off just after that hand? A couple that? of weeks later, aye. I, I got moved to Margaret's. She stayed in Cardano. That's the best place I've ever lived. Really, aye? Aye, man. She was amazing. Like, the love, man, was fucking unconditional. It was brilliant. Like, her boy and all, Ger- Gerald, and a lassie, Gemma. Right. Fucking. They looked after me and all, man. They let me away with everything. Like, she had a caravan. Margaret had a caravan. They would take away us at the weekend. Uh-huh. And fucking ended up gone and getting mad. But every weekend, man, it was brilliant. But <laughs> fucking, I ended up with toilet rolled in, man, shoving it up the puggies. Hide, hiding, waiting for cunts to get a jackpot, man. Like, Any money's coming out, they would go get somebody. I'd run out, take the fucking <laughs> toilet roll out, man, that's, take the money. That's fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, I ended up getting caught because I was at a 10p machine with a stick. I put the stick down the, see the way you put the 10p's? Aye. And I was just scraping all the money off, man. Aye, uh, one of my machines, you put the pings in it, uh, it's aye, like a avalanche aye. of coins. I, I took like fucking 50 quid worth of 10 P's, man. I'm like, ah, nobody wins that much. Fuck sake. Check the cameras and they've seen me in the past week. Fucking, the heavy hustling, heavy man. Heavy <laughs> <laughs> I get barred for Craig Tara for life for that. Fucking hell, man. What age were then? Eh. Uh, 11, I think. How did you end up see Tip on today something like that? Was I it get j- taught it. Oh, did you get taught uh, it? Aye. All accounts were doing it. Oh, right, right, right. And fucking, but I ended up getting barred for that caravan, so that meant I couldn't stay with Margaret anymore because uh-huh. she goes there every weekend. And right, I mean, if I can't go, sake, man. so that was me. I get moved to a home for the first time. Right. So how was that? Uh, that was a changing point in my life, man. Really, aye. And how so? Because it's different. Like a home ended up. Another boys in there. They were running away, shoplifting, fighting, fucking. Vandalising, just smashing shit up, know what I mean? Bush right. hours just smashing them up. Right. And fucking spray paint, we were doing all sorts, man. I ended up with like 60 odd charges, fucking pending. Fucking <laughs> hell, so would you say that's the first time you started committing crime in that, or just getting caught for it? Aye, but fucking, what happened was, because I was that young, I was get to jail, and it would just be six hours. The home would come pick you up, and that'd be it. And mm-hmm. just go to a panel. But that went on for years, man, for about two years, and then ended up, started doing assault and robberies, taking the blade out and just robbing cunts up the West End. Oh, uh, really, aye? Aye. Oh, fucking... What age were you at this point? 13. So you're 13, get out and robbing cunts then? Fucking hell. Aye, man. The fucking just taking... Why well, you get a time, mate? Cunt takes his phone out, man. Bang. Takes his phone, go off. <laughs> we fucking... See, looking back now, but I heavily regret that, man. Ah, of course. Because how would I like it if fucking two cunts one of them with a devil like that would use your phone? Ah, of course. <laughs> that's, that's when you get older, in it, man? You kind of look back and you're able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Nah. But the age of 13, you're fucking still young, plus as well, I take it. The people still you're hanging about with, they were, they were still the people you're hanging about with in the home, they were, imagine they know that as well. So it's if you're at that age, you're just going to follow the crowd you're running it, man. Aye, but uh, that home is in the East End. Mm-hmm. Um, Baltic, right? Fucking, but after I learned how to use the buses, not myself with the fake tickets, man. Fucking, I'd go away back to Ibrooks and I'd hang about there with the trips, man. Fucking, ah, it was good times, man. Mad with it or not. So I used to go and run for like a month. Frankie'd let me stay with him for a full month. All right, <laughs> aye, aye. He'd feed me every day, he'd get me mad with it. Fucking change of clothes, not whatever, man. Whatever I needed, he, he was there for us, man. 
Same as Matty, I know. He used to let his time with him, I know. He's brought down. Fucking. But uh, when I was at, I was at Ross Hall. I come as billionaires, man. That's when I was 11 the first year, or 12. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking, I ended up taking a wee kitchen knife out of the drawer. And the foster carer phoned the school, like, I think he's got a knife, know what I mean? And the fucking took us in, man, they fun it. I oh, was like, fuck. you're at school, man. Fuck fucking, see. I went to Bella Houston, and I met Martin Majuri, uh-huh. one of my best pals, man. He's yeah. he's like, fucking, moan up to my guy, fuck school, man. What do you mean, geography, moan? We'll get stoned. I was like, stoned? <laughs> we only, like, fucking in first year, so I was, like, 11, 12, know what I mean? Up his, man, he'd pull his big creamy buckets, man. <laughs> Is that the white. first time you ever, like, uh, fucking uh, got stoned? Is that the first uh, time you were introduced I, I remember, but he, his big bra, Robbie, he's got the decks, man. He had the decks. And fucking Marty with MC, so with these bra Robbie, but Robbie would rock the decks, man. I remember just sinking into the couch, scooping a bucket, man, close my eyes, like, wow, man, this is amazing, mate. Like, fucking, the first time you ever get stoned, know what I mean? Aye, like, aye, fucking aye. listening to music. Right, aye, so was it, did you feel, uh, it helped you kind of forget about the situation you were in, that kind of aye, thing? Aye, so that was almost like your kind of first escape for reality? Aye, fucking, but, uh, I went on a, a couple of weeks, I just dog it and go with Marty. He stayed there in the shields mm-hmm. and fucking, but he's like, right, man, I'll take you at Highbrooks. Fucking, he took his there, man. And fucking, everybody was older than me. Everybody's all like 15, 15, 14 at that time. I'm only like 11, 12. Mm-hmm. And fucking, and then they just out of the troops, man. And fucking, I thought you know it, me and Frankie were best pals. And just a wee guy, but every cunt loved us, not I mean, yeah, it was mental. Yeah, I got a lot of respect for uh, people older than you, that kind uh, of acceptance. It was, uh, it was mental, man. So that was the first time I actually felt like a family vibe, know what I mean? Aye. Aye, actually, I was going to ask that, in fact, see, because obviously you've been through different foster families and not being able to settle, not getting comfortable. Aye. Was that the first time you'd said in, what, years that you'd actually felt comfortable? Aye. I just wanted to stay in Ibrox, know what I mean? I wanted to just fucking stay there. I, I ran away from the home in East End all the time in there, man. But one time in, uh, when we were in Bell Houston, fucking, we were fighting all the shields. Aye. And it was going back and forth, everybody in school, man. Cut our counts, get knocked out. But I ended up, I was dogging it one day. There was about 30 years. Or older, my old Larry, what time's it, man? Fucking, it was like three o'clock. Larry, right, mum, we'll get to Bella and we'll fucking cause it, man. <laughs> <laughs> 30 has been early bridge, mate, and fucking heavy leathered about 20 of the shields, man. Oh, really? Aye. Aye, you can't get his yield, can't say, not getting five yield mark for it, man. Mark really? Donald. Is it fucking bad, aye? Aye, they put it down as pure a race wall, and all that, man. Fucking hell. What age <laughs> were you then? Uh, 12, man. And so, what, were you just pure loving the moment? Like, aye, I was every... just whacking cunts with cans, not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get caught? No. Fucking hell. So see, at that point in your time, but were you still in the home? Uh, no, I was in Margaret's at that time. I'll oh, be in Margaret's uh, at that time. But yeah. After that, I ended up getting moved out of the East End. I ended up hanging about the Baltic. Ended up fucking fighting with Brigton. That were him, man. That was fucking mental. Or we mob or shite bags, but good counts, but they were shite bags. We always needed the older ones to come down. I mean, oh, back really? is up. Aye, they would drive down the motor, man. Not constant. <laughs> <Fuck's laughs> sake, man. So how did that feel being at age? I imagined to you that was just the norm. So you growing up and seeing that kind of thing. I know where you stayed. And all ca- cause advice. when I hung about Ibrox, they took me to Govan to see for the Govan firm. That counts were all getting stabbed. Fuck it, man. Aye, and so then told me, aye. So I was just there. Aye, so we went to the East End, man. And they've all got their nutters, they're all prodies in Baltic, know what I mean? Oh, are they, aye? Aye, so I couldn't wear my cellic tat or anything, know what I mean? Oh, really? Was it that bad, <laughs> aye? aye? Sometimes, man, sometimes you could wear it, know what I mean? But it's like, obviously, if there's a game on a bit of a walk. Aye, you know aye, I mean? aye, it's probably better up and safe and sorry. Aye, aye. fucking, but I was mental, man, fucking. I ended up got a St Mungo's, I got kicked out of Bella, I got moved to St Mungo's there in East End. Aye. I went there, I ended up getting kicked out of no, got caught with harsh or something. Just stupid shit, dogging it every day for like the full year nearly. Used to dog it, we couldn't go out to Barryfield, get a quarter of hash, we'd all chip in, man, get stoned on nuts. <laughs> fucking, they ended up sending me to St John's. You yeah. ever heard of that? St John's, is that a secure unit? It's a residential. Right, right, Residential bit, school, is it? day school uh, near Easterhouse. I might have heard Hang it. Hang it, Eddie Road, is it? Aye, I'm it's no to... there anymore. Is it's it no? I think, I, think I did remember it a few years ago. Couldn't have been in there and that. It's partly a secure unit, no? Aye, part of residential. Aye, so I might have, I, I've heard it before, but I've, I'm not pure familiar with it. Do you get sent here there? 
So what were you saying earlier, just like as uh, the part of the security unit? Or was no, that I just the, the day school. So the day school, so where were you at this point though, staying, were you still in the home? Uh, in, in Baltic Eye. Right, right, so what led for there, man? Did you like eventually, because you eventually, did you end up in secure at some point Aye. as well? And ended up fucking, I robbed a cunt a lock back and got fucking 10 months. That was my first time in St Mary's. I just turned 13, I think. Fucking hell, really, eh? Aye, got my first 10 months in there, man. Fucking, that was mental and all, man. Fucking, just fucking, I met Scout in there. He's a good cunt, man. We end up smashing the gym that with him. Fucking, eh... Uh, how is it feeling, sorry, how is it feeling, let's see, I was being 13 doing your first sentence? Did it ever, <laughs> did it ever, like, like, register, like, I'm actually doing a sentence now? Aye, because when you're going through the courts, man, or, or the turnkeys, or that, man, you, you should be at school, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know, man, did you aye. ever, you know, what that kind of, like, what the fuck, I'm I actually just, aye, getting laughing, jail. man. Every time you just look at me, walking past them, holding the long cuffs, know what I mean? Like, aye, if you're grown man? men and all that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. So how did it feel, actually, when you got Taylor listening, you're getting 10 months, you were actually doing a sentence? Did it sink in? St Mary's was just, like, a big home. Is so that was, like, Just uh, a home you couldn't really leave? Aye. My mum and my dad used to bring us up passionate anyway, so I was... Oh, fuck, did they? Aye. aye. Fucking hell, so you're sorted then? Aye, so if, uh, I was in Baltic, and that home, before I got secured, uh, I didn't. I hadn't seen my mum and my dad in about four years or something. Mm-hmm. So fucking, I got a letter one day saying that I have to go to a panel, and it said my mum's and dad's address on it. And fucking one of the boys that was in the home was like, no joke, that your mum and dad stayed the next block to mine. I'll take you up. <laughs> so shut up, really? Eh? Aye, but the guy with somebody that worked there? No, one of the boys. Oh right, right. What do you mean you'll take you up? You take me up in the bus, show me where it is, because I, I didn't know oh, where it was. Oh, so you able to leave and go to this 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 hearing? No, she. When I got the letter, aye, uh, but you I were doing your sense. Home. Oh, you're still in the home, alright. I feel you're doing the, the sense. That's no, point. Sorry, I, I get mixed up. Eh? I was in the home, fucking, and I got the letter. It said my mum and dad's address on it, and my wee pal, fucking, was thing was, he, he's like, my mum stays the next block. I can show you where these flats are. Not, I mean, oh, right, we right. went up the next day, man. I chat my mum's door. <laughs> my dad's like, it's Daniel. My mum's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so they weren't even expecting you then, no, no, man. I, I went in. I, I seen a, a quarter of hash on the, the window edge. I was like, daddy's a bucket, man. He's like, you're no smoking. Hash be me, no. So fucking a couple of days went past. I went up with a bit of dope. The fucking he didn't have any. Uh, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do a joint. You want me to smoke outside of whatever? And he's like, no, I just smoke it here, man. And I was like, I take it, I'm going to smoke now. He's like, aye. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. So I take it. So how did that feel getting getting reunited with your mum and dad? Well, in, ah, in it was sense, madness, man. Yeah, that, so long as that, you'd been separated with him for? About four years. Oh, like, you mean all in? Just for like, when you obviously get put into care and that, then obviously for the last minute, the last visit you had with him, when he got hit with the dumbbell, was that, how long was that in between then? Five years, four or five years. Really? Right? Aye, so see, when you seen him, how did you, did you feel like old feelings that you never, you'd kind of put away or that kind of thing? How is it? Or did you just feel like normal? It was weird, because I was stoned at my heart every day, you know what I mean? So oh, right, so in I a was, bubble. I kind of knew, kind of new emotion to kind of take on, innit, man? It's hard to comprehend that kind of thing. Aye, but my mum and my dad's gaff turned into a, a party gaff, man. We end up fucking <laughs> partying for weeks on end, and man, it was brilliant. Oh, really? Aye. So we were you still at 13 at this point? 12, 13. 12, 13, aye. So see when you ended up in the home, eh, no, sorry, the home in St Mary's and that kind of thing, obviously that's your yeah, man and dad kind of re-established contact and that. Yeah, they and, were able to come up and visit us and that, aye. Aye, so how, how long was that, what, you were in there then, did, what did you see when you get out of, when your sentence finished, did you stay in the home, did you get back to them or what? Uh, no, I went back to home, I went to Park Heed, mm-hmm. and ended up getting done, fucking badly, man, fucking... A gravestone dropped on my face now. I heard, is that one of the ones you talked about in the tune? So what, what was it that happened that day? Tell us about it, if you don't mind. Uh, I was full of speed, man. Fucking, I was up for days. Fucking, I ended up getting back to the home. He got a shower and that, get changed. I bumped into the wee cunt. He was like, what, I got a booze. I was like, I fuck it, man. Went into Asda, robbed a litre of vody. Had a few scoops and that, man. Took them. We're sitting in the graveyard, drinking the vody. He's like, you ask where I go? I was like, look, man, I was like, Aye, if you want. Fucking, wait, he takes shit out of my pockets and that, man. And he just fucking smacked me with a, with a gravestone, half a gravestone, man. What the fuck? Aye, man, knocked me out. Fucking, and he's hit me with it again for the second time. Aye. And done it off. I woke up in hospital, man. Fucking, my full face was like the elephant, man. Fuck, was it? Aye. Aye, man, like the baddest I've ever been done. <laughs> what was that for? 
I don't know. I heard a couple of years later, man, it was something to do with acid. His mob is nice looking or something. I don't know. Something what stupid. the fuck? But you still you come and get a drink now uh, and done that? That's done that. Have you done his heavy snake? Have man. you ever seen the cunt again? I seen him in court. I, I was on the honkers. He was on the honkers. Then that man boom bingoed him, man. Oh, did you catch him, eh? Yeah, I, I bingoed him, man. Bust his nose open, fucking wee dick. And fucking, he ended up getting restrained and all that, man. Fucking, aye, but nothing happened but that. But Frankie and that done him. Fucking my pal Paul done him. Marty done him. On Pullman. Fucking, oh, so he's been done enough times for it? Aye. It's fucking, it was madness, man. Fucking, I ended up getting moved for that, eh? I think it was back at the West End. I was only out for a couple of months mm-hmm. and fucking that happened. Uh, I get to jail again. I can't remember what for. I think it was an assault and robbery. So it was 14 by this time, back in Secure. Mm-hmm. Fucking cunt came in for nearly murdering my best pal, man. Fucking, he, he basically put it on us. I shot myself, man. I was just a wee guy, you know what I mean? I was 14, he was like 16, 17. Fucking, yeah. and... I end up boiling my kettle, flung it at him. Aye, fucking aye. hell. Is that a bad gene? Aye. Uh, I don't I didn't, I didn't realise how bad it would have been, I mean? I just obviously heard mad tales, I can't scold him, can't, you know what I mean? I was like, fuck it, but there's no point trying to fist fight, you know what I mean? He's never murdered my pal, fuck aye. Aye. I'm a wee guy compared to him, so there's nothing I can do, really. I was like, fuck it, I'm boiling this kettle, man. Sugar, like, ah, boom. They hear him, man, fucking. But I ended up getting moved to uh, Unit 3, my ma go to Scoob's in, fucking, we are bouncing, I can't start fucking slaughtering us at the door. Starts calling my ma a tramp, man, and fucking... What the fuck? What the fuck is random, man? No, the two of us were full of blues, so we spent the full night heavy, fucking... Did you burn the shit up, kind of thing? No, no was it, it, it was dark, man, oh, the shit right, we were saying, man. Right, was it serious? Yeah, I, right, it, wasn't, it wasn't intended no, as a joke. No, it was Valium Evil Pures oh, all right, night, man. Right, right. I was like, he's getting done, man. We got up in the morning and he's like, I'm sorry, bro. Fucking, uh, I took that too far. Just bouncing. I was like, I need bother. Went in the kitchen, kettle again, man, right at him. Oh, he got scalded, man. What happened when he got scalded, but with the bad, was their skin fucked or not? Aye. Was, it, was that the sugar? I know I've heard about that. If fucking the sugar sticks to the face and, and you fucking. The, the first cunt, his face was, he went all purple. Fucking, he was getting mad creams, not in, but and he, he didn't end up scarred. He ended up just fucking. Like he's see like the way a tattoo goes. Aye. Like it's all flaky. Uh huh. His full face was flaky, man. Something degree burns or something it was. And fucking the second cunt there was no sugar in it. He was just boiling water he got. But he he's he was a hairy bastard, know what I mean? Yeah. So been all in there his chest and fucking stuck his head his chest. Oh did it? <laughs> aye, fucking hell, so I take it scarred him. I think so, aye. It was fucking screaming, man. So what happened with that? Did you get charged with it? Mm-hmm. Two survey charges. Did you get any time I did on? No, the time I went up for it, I only got like, I think it was nine months or something I got for one of them, the other one got dropped. Oh, did it? Aye, so it was that during your sentence, so did it affect your time? No, you... I, I got out and I got a warrant out. I didn't even know, man, I went up to court. I got to jail, got up for the warrant, fucking remanded. I pled guilty to it, fucking done my three week reports and ended up getting nine months, that was it. Oh, so you ended up doing a sentence for it? Aye, in Kibble. By that time I was in Kibble. Right. I get I done that sentence for that in Kibble, fucking, but that was when my ma died, fucking, so I'd done my sentence, right, mm-hmm. but it was only like five months or something on, and by the time my ma died a month before I got out. Right, is this the, sorry, is this the sentence we'd scolded the two right, aye. right, so it was just before this one finished? Aye, and the fucking, I ended up slipping my wrist not man, I ended up smashing, see, in Kibble you get... At lunchtime, you get all the plates stacked up. Uh-huh. I end up picking them all up, man, smashing them off the ground, grabbing fucking jaggy bits, trying to stab cunts and that. Really? And, aye, so aye, man, I mean, lose it. I lost it, man, aye. And fucking, the, the bastards gave me a three-month panel order. But so I had to stay in for another three months. Fucking <laughs> hell, man, just got smashing it up and that. Aye, aye. gone off my nut, they said, you're too fucking, you're a risk. No, I mean, Did we not take into account your mod just died, no? Did the fuck, man, ruthless. Fucking hell, man. So, see, when you've obviously heard that news, how how is it to process that emotion? Was that a shock? I imagine uh, it would have been. I woke up. It was like seven in the morning. Like, ah, you've got a phone call. Like, what? I knew straight away, man. I just knew, you know what I mean? I was like, who is it? And like, that came in the office. Uh, my dad on the phone, like, your mom's died. I said, what happened? 
And he said, she's overdosed. And I was like, right, hung up on him. Fucking, I just didn't know what to do, man. I, I just was like, let me back in my room. The wee woman was like, you want to scream at me? You want to do something? You want to cuddle right? And I was like, I don't know what I want to do, man. I didn't know how to process it. I just sat and stared at my wall for about fucking that full night. And then the next day, the tears came, man. That was me greeting for weeks, man. I couldn't stop it. The fucking, then all the guilt came. The fucking, because like, the, one of the last conversations I had with my mum was, she was saying, would you greet if I died? And I was like, obviously, man, you know what I mean? What type of questions are that? <laughs> mm-hmm. The fucking, it was weird. The fucking, yeah, that happened. Broke his, man. Fucking hell. See, when uh, you were in the uh, security at that time, obviously you were getting drugs at certain points. Were you on drugs at that time when you heard that? No. So, uh, so you're having to kind of deal with that kind of raw emotion as well. See, uh, is that the first time you've ever kind of dealt with a death or a, a close loved one? Yeah, uh, aye. Is that aye? So you were dealing with, like, obviously, what age were you then at that point? 14. 15. 14, so still at a pure young age. How do you think that affected you, like, getting out? Obviously, you said you smashed the place up and that, but eventually you did get out. Uh, did, you, did they let you go to the funeral? Aye. All right, so you went to the funeral. How was that for you? It was hard, man. Was that aye? Was that, were you able to kind of see some people that, <clears throat> when they go to the funerals, that kind of gives them a bit of closure? Did that ever give you closure? Did you ever get closure? Nah, not really, man. Nah, not really. So see when you get released for that sentence, how do you feel you were as a person compared to, see before that happened when you were at, to getting out and then that's happened to you? Do you think it changed you? Aye. For the worst, you'd say? The worst to start with, aye. I was just getting out of my nut. Oh, really? I just tried to escape Mad it. Mad for the blues, just fucking taking everything, man, aye. So even you went back out, was it just pure chaotic, I take it? Just kind of ramped up a notch? Were you back committing crime quick? Yeah, aye, aye, back robbing cunts and that, man. Fucking doing armed robberies. Uh, just fucking getting out of shops, taking what we want and leaving. <laughs> 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 fucking got about the West End every day, man. Me and my pal Pierce. Get into Tesco in the morning, grab a litre of a of each, fucking uh, sandwiches and that, whatever, man. Just on the run, fucking once out and that, on the run, getting mad with it every day. We ended up fucking, yeah, we ended up doing two armed robberies, fucking with machetes, man. Uh, and then the first shop that was three years, said to the other boy, hey, you hold the door shut with your back and hold the bag open, Aye. and we'll put everything for the till in it and the fags not. We went in, whipped the tools out, the cunts done that, man, bang, pressed a panic alarm, the, the shop started going, meow, the wee cunt at the door turned around, got off. <laughs> oh, that, so you just ended up locked in? <laughs> no, we didn't end up locked in, but he, he picked a chair up, tried to chop him, man, he, he's like, like, fuck this moon, man, when we get in, ran out of the shop, went to another shop, I just followed my pal, know what I mean, I didn't know he was going into another shop to fucking rob it, fucking nutter, so we ran into a shop, all the blue lights, like, you can hear them, He's whipped the meat cleaver out. And fucking had a balaclava on, right? The two is did. But they couldn't notice him for his tracking, you know what I mean? It was his local shop. He's like, Pierce, what you doing? <laughs> and he's <laughs> like, oh, it's no Pierce, get the fucking money in the bag. <laughs> <after you." laughs> Pierce Peter doing the same voice and everything. And but- fucking he whipped a shutter pull it. Started got a town ways, man. Fucking <laughs> hell, man. I grabbed two cases of beers, man. Ran like fuck. And fucking we get the jail down the road, man. Fucking, I, I was like, no way, man. We're going to have it seven years for this, man. Oh, so what age were you? Uh, I was 16 by this time. So uh, you were 16 at that point. What ended up happening in that case? Uh, we, I'd done two fairly committals back to back. And then we went up to Aberdeen High for sentencing. How did you get there? Just that's where they sent you? Where did that uh, happen? I was a travelling judge. Oh, right, so you just went where he went. Where no, did the crime actually happen? Uh, in the West End. Was it in the West Kelvin End? Kelvin Hall. Right, right. So... Not for sentencing, man, fucking, he started with me, he's like, right, I'm giving you 10 year, I was like, my boss dropped, man, I was like, what the fuck do you mean 10 year, man, <laughs> but he's like, you really play, take it, didn't he, and it was like 7 or something, I get took, didn't he, and he's like, take your back date or half, blah, 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 he ended up getting down to 4 year 8 month, oh, right, aye. aye, and fucking, but he gave me 3 year 8 custodial, in a year SRO. Right, right, right. So right. fucking, but he didn't, because I was on remand for other shit, I can't remember, I think it was shoplifting, whatever, daft shit, breaching curfews and that, uh, they didn't give one of the back deals off, so the time I go, I'd served like 30 months for in, know what I mean? Right, so you kind of did end, end up doing like a fucking 4-8 almost? Aye, almost. Right, so where did you do that? In Pullman. Right, so is that kind of, 
obviously because Pullman's the way he goes, that's a kind of step up for the homes, the secures. Uh, and that. How did it feel going into Pullman? Was that your first time? Frankie was on the pass when I met the first oh, one. Oh, is he, aye? Aye, so I, he's last straight away with a new monkey CD under my door, man. <laughs> so I listen to that, man. Uh, <laughs> that, yes. <laughs> uh, fucking... Well, I just talked to him every day, man. But he ended up turning 18, didn't he? I couldn't. So that was me. But I was settled by that time, you know what I mean? Nah, just... Pals with everybody. Going with everybody. What so about you, Blair House? Blair House, aye. Right, right. Because I remember being in Blair House and it was obviously... I'd been in Iona One before it. No right before it, but previously. And uh, gone for Iona One. You're in mixed in with fucking over 18s and all that kind of shit. It's a fucking shithole. And you go to Blair House and it's actually... It's brand new. Nah, you, you got, got a shit shit in your room. It's all single cells and that <laughs> kind of thing. So did you do miss your sentence in Blair House? Yeah, I think I'd done like 15 months. Did you so half it pretty much? Aye, half it, aye. Where did you go after that? Um, in row three, and then they moved the LTPs out to Iona three. They moved me over them. Oh, so you went to Iona three? Aye. Aye, aye, because I ended up, I was in Mano three, but I, I was in Iona three when it was LTPs, then I got moved out to Mano three when it was the tap end. And then by that point, they'd moved all the LTPs there, so I ended up getting papped out the tap end, and I ended up just going across the hall. When it was Mano three, when it was all the LTPs. So how was that sentence for you? Were you fighting in that one? Did you kind of screw the nut? The, when I first went in, man, I was like, I'm getting hammered, man. I couldn't hold on to it, know what I mean? I was like, I'm going to be in here for years. Mm-hmm. So the slightest thing, I was just snapping, man. Fucking stabbing cunts with forks, fucking pull cues and that. Just fucking smashing cunts, man. Mm-hmm. Fucking, but when I got up to the older hall, I settled in, man. I ended up smashing the gym. <laughs> Nah, it's the best thing you can do in there, man, because you're in there, you're stressed, you get anxiety and all that kind of shit. And it gives you something to work towards, as you say, you want to go out massive. But when I get to jail, so I get four and a half years, so I was like, I've been here for half three years, so I want to have something to show for it. Aye. So I was like, I think every cunt gets the same mindset, you want to go to the gym and commit, because cunts have they seen you, well, they have seen you in like a couple of years, so the time you want to go out, you want to give them something to look at, know what I mean? Uh, it was mental when I got out, man. I, <laughs> I was I was a big boy, you know what I mean? I was benching 120 kg. Oh, really? Aye, fucking hell. I ain't getting two reps yet. <laughs> and fucking, but I didn't think I was big, see, because every cunt in the LTV hall was massive anyway. Aye. So, like, I didn't think getting it until I'm sitting outside, sitting with my pal Willie, Frankie, and I can and, like... Oh, what happened? Your hands. What happened? Bigs, man. Well, he's like, I'm not getting in a photo with you, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> getting a photo with one of your biceps. Aye. <laughs> so see through it all this period, because I remember you saying, obviously, you discovered music, yeah, you discovered the Scottish rap, and uh, I discovered Mike Wright's just not. See, what this period of your life, it was quite chaotic, man. Were you using music at this point as a kind of channel? Or did you discover that at this point? I always use music. See, since I first got stoned with Marty. Aye. And fucking the MC man, I loved it. I used to listen to New Monkey religiously. Until I went to Pullman, I started listening to hip hop. Mm-hmm. Fucking, I got an Immortal Technique CD through my door, man. Aye. And I was Classic. like, I Revolutionary 2. And it's all just about conspiracies, now you heard that, aye? No, I don't think oh, I've heard that. a good album, man. I played that on repeat for days, man. <laughs> and fucking, I used to listen to Fire in the Booth every Saturday and all. Uh-huh. And I remember Bugsy Malone's first fire on the booth. Aye. I listened to it live, man. And I remember thinking to myself, What? You couldn't you hear what? man? I was fucking I was like, That's amazing, man. Aye. And fucking, I started writing lyrics and that, didn't I, man? I got on my two pack CDs, fucking, I started writing my rhymes. I was, uh, they ended up a workshop. Aye. And uh, I couldn't brought in the decks and that, man. Scott, he, he fucking. He had the decks, the mics and that, man. So we were them seeing. I was rapping a bit and that and fucking... But it wasn't taking it serious. And when I got out, I went to the, the hostel and I did in. And fucking... I was saying Big Graham took me to Volition. Uh-huh. Uh, for you know it, man. Me, by being Auntie and Sean are in a group called It Sinister South. We're doing gigs and that, man. Fucking... It was mad going live for the first time, like, fucking, it was mental. How was that for you? Nerve wracking, man. I, really? I, I, I was saying to the boys, like, if I forget my lyrics, I'm just going to pull my pants down and do a shite. <laughs> right in the middle of the flare, they'll remember that, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't forget, you don't get your lyrics for sure, man. Uh, thank fuck I did, man. <laughs> uh, but we ended up going to Edinburgh that day in gigs, man. It was brilliant. Popping off, man. We were fucking... Oh, it was brilliant. See the buzz? Just the fucking... The four, the four of the trips, man, together, just fucking smashing the gigs. See the energy, us four in the gigs, man. Aye. It's electric, mate. It's yep. f- 
Fucking amazing, man. Best feeling I've ever felt, you know what I mean? Really? So was this after you got a moment? Aye. Right, so see when you were doing the gigs and that, was that when you were kind of like, ah, right, I'm, I'm obviously taking it seriously and that kind of Aye. thing? Aye. So see the Sinister South, in fact, did uh, was Sherlock and fucking Melrose and that at any point? Eh, uh, we, Sinister, we, we were pals with Sherlock and Melrose and that for the start, and we ended up like, right, fuck it, we'll do TMA. Aye. And that was Sinister South and that was Sherlock D... Melrose, Kyla Arkins, and we all joined together, man. We fucking... I thought that because I remember seeing videos with him. I think you were in the video or not. I think I seen one that was in a close. He was in a close sitting on the steps. He looked stairs in a close going up with close stairs. Nah, yeah, I remember. Was, that's on my channel. Ah, yeah, because I remember that's when I first seen that. So I just assumed that was the Sinister South. But obviously, as you say, it was like a kind of nah, it was like a kind of crossover. Because we're for the south, they're for the north. Know what I mean? Right, so right. Kind of done things, that man. Then Sherlock and Melrose went the same way, and that and. We just went back to Sinister. Mm -hmm. So how long were you performing with Sinister South? Uh, fuck, about two years, I think, two or three years. Really? So what happened with, with them? What, the Sinister South itself? Did they all kind of disband or what? Aye, they all ended up having wings, didn't they, man? Oh, did you say life got in the way? Aye. How did it feel becoming a da? Best feeling in the world, man. Is that, how many wings you got? One. Just one? What age, is that a boy, Lassie? Lassie? Lassie. What age is she? Addison, uh, she's four in March. Ah, brilliant, man. So how was that feeling for you? Uh, best feeling in the world, man. Is that aye? Aye, it's like, it changes your whole life, man. Like, did it change your outlook and that kind of thing? What were you yeah. like, see, when you got out of Pullman? Because, obviously, did you still have that mad heat on? No. No, so as you kind of like, matured you a bit? I was like, I'm never getting to jail again. Mm -hmm. Fucking... I got it, man, I was learning a lot, Aye. I was trying to get a job in that, fucking, I was learning a lot, fucking, getting into all the conspiracies went on, man, fucking, learning about the world, man. Ah, you <laughs> educate again, yourself? Ah, you educate myself about India and all that, fucking Gandhi, just, all, all, the, all the famous cunts, know what I mean, it was, it was a journey I was on, man, fucking, I, I put myself into education and that, mm. fucking, so, uh, I was going to, I was trying to get into college and that, Aye. but because uh, of my record and that, man, the fucking borderline dyslexic, you know what I mean? Ah, <laughs> right, fucking... and because obviously you had like, attended school and that, man, so you weren't able to kind of get properly educated. I, I can read brand new, but see, you're just writing, man, it's fucking, I don't know. Is man. that a struggle still? So how, how do you write your lyrics? I just write them how it sounds. Oh, do you, aye? Oh, right. so even though you're dyslexic, you're still able to write, so aye, when you're reading it back, but are you able to aye, understand aye. what you've written? Because I just write in slang. Right, so, uh, so uh, it's, it's kind of uh, the, way, it's the way you've learned it. Shut it's just like texting, basically, not Ah, I suppose, I suppose, it's, it's able, you're able to understand it. But I still get my there, there, there's mixed up, and my fucking well, well, well's not mixed up. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about that, mate, I do that, and all. sometimes I'm like, what the fuck am I saying here, man? I think everything gets mixed up with uh, mine, so don't let it bog you down. But, uh, so obviously, like, what, there was like 18 and that, you were in the Sinister South, and then you said these all started having wins and that. Obviously, you talk about in uh, in your songs a lot of your battles with psychosis and that, and obviously you developed schizophrenia. How did when did that first happen? So after my daughter was born, the stress, man, like my stress went through the roof. I was smoking like a half bottle of green a day, right? So like fucking smoking too much. Yeah, I was just doing buckets after buckets. Aye, I didn't think it ate, man. And fucking my daughter was born, getting up for the night feeds, that man, fucking. Like, all the stress, mate, it just, I don't know what happened, man, it's just something popped in my brain, I smoked that much, and I ended up losing my shit, man, I ended up going insane, like, literally schizophrenic, man. Really, aye, aye. so how, how would you describe it? It's like, I don't know, I, I thought I was the main character, like... I was doing all the research into all the conspiracies, not what I mean. Mm -hmm. And fucking, I learned about Daniel. He, there's a book called Daniel, right? And he's a man that basically he says everything in revelations that it's going to happen and all that. Not I mean, but mm -hmm. I was learning that much and funny that Daniel hasn't actually happened yet, so he's still happen. Right. And I thought. Is this me? <laughs> right, so you've seen it as a premonition kind of thing? Yeah, I'm like, I must be Daniel, man. I was right. fucking threatening it, man. Up. And I was seeing voices, man. Like, see every noise you hear? Aye. I would sit in silence every and a half. And, like, I thought Freemasons and that were coming out to my gaff to kill me and all that. Because right. I'd learnt that much and fucking... I was staring at my window. Every motor that would park outside my door. Uh, park my street, sorry. I'd be like, ah, right, that's him, man, get done, done. 
the fucking thing. Thinking that same man. I, I sat at that window for about a week. I fucking didn't eat for a full week, man. I was just drinking water. <laughs> I, I was staring at my window thinking these kids are going to come and kill me, man. I was going into the shop, get a pot of noodle, fucking for my dinner, see, because I don't know how to cook on that, know what I mean? uh-huh. so I was just potting the donut, every cunt had left us by that stage, I'd fucking, I was screaming at everybody, fucking, shouting his name, wake up, no, you fucking, you're all brainwashed, <laughs> 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 fucking, I went half my nut, man, every cunt left us, and fucking, I ended up fighting with my cousin Josh, I was the last straw, getting in the man, he's just, he's like, right, you can't come in here anymore, so fucking, I was in main house myself, I was fucking suicidal, man. I remember I had the mic wire. It was a big, long wire, man. I was like, yeah, I'm going to hang myself with this, man. And fucking... I was like, fuck it, no, I'll, I'll murder somebody. So I got a kitchen knife, and I was walking. I walked all the way through fucking... Scotston, all the way through the town. And fucking... I had it in my head that you could just... Somebody had parked a motor, I could just open the door and say to them, right, drive to wherever, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. I just had it in my, my head that I was the main character. Uh-huh. And every cunt was playing along with me, you know what I mean? And uh-huh. it was the end times, and we were going to fucking beat evil and all that, and fucking... Mate, it was a mad trip, honestly. I thought I was on a permanent trip. And fucking... Oh, it was mental, man. But fucking... I pulled a door open to a van. I was like, right, uh, take me to the nearest church. It was like two o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean? The cunt's like, that man, get out my van, get out my van. I was like, what do you mean? I'm Daniel. He's like, yeah. He's like get out my fucking van, you know <laughs> Fucking, this big key to you, me, man. And fucking, I was walking about with a, a, a fucking, a, a big blanket. And I was just walking about with this blanket on me. The key to you my fucking boxers, man. Fuck, oh, I was tripping, man. Did you just kicked a bit of a pair of boxers and a blanket, or did you close no, them? No, I had trousers and that one, but I had my blanket on, like, fucking, I was... Learning all sorts of Scottish history and all that, I know, and I was pure, I'm going to bring back your cult. I'm going to fucking, if the police stop me with this knife, I'm just saying it's my skiing doing all that. <laughs> 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 I was mental, man, fucking. But I would go long walks, like I would walk the fella Glasgow, man, just like, me even taking a breath, just walk and walk and walk, stop at churches. I would walk around the churches and all that, man, looking at the, the windies, the brickwork and all that. And, oh, that's Freemasons, ball that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking about Glasgow, I was trying to find all these mad tunnels and all that, because I learned there was fucking tunnels underneath in Central. Aye. There's like a, a whole new shopping bit <laughs> from back in the day. And I also didn't find anything, but like, I, I thought everybody was following us, you know what I mean? I was turned around. And I'd be like, what would you want? And the kids like, ah, you're right. Like, what do you mean you're right, man? Why are you following me? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And fucking, I was like, he's a fucking nut. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, was mental, man. But the voices, that was scary. Fucking seeing things that weren't there and all, man. Like, I, when I stayed in Scotston, fucking my, my bed was at the back window. So, like, when I lie in my bed, I look out the window and it's this path, this walkway. Aye. And it's just bushes. So I'd, He's sitting staring at these bushes for about, I don't know, man, until it got light again. I mean, wasn't aye, he saying that? Aye. But I, I thought people were in the bushes aiming snipers at his not. Man. Fucking hell, man. Fucking, but every, every single voice you hear, like if it's a door opening or a car or fucking like that. <laughs> like, see, like that, I would hear that and I'd be like, ah, 10 points. Wow, 10 points for what? No, like just tripping them and not thinking that every, everything around the world was evolving around me, you know what I mean? Right, I see. And then, Every voice I'd hear, I'd pick it up as somebody talking. Like, I would translate it. it would, I don't know how, aye, but... Aye, the way I, you would decipher it, like, it would, aye, like the time it reached your brain, kind of, aye, it something, but it was aye, nice, was getting said. And it was fucking... Oh, it was scary, man. I ended up fucking walking to Frankie's, man. I got... Uh, I, I stole one of his lockbacks. Fucking trip and walked him. The next day, man, fucking... Try to get into my aunties. My cousin George, fucking, he, he wasn't letting us in. I was like, come out then, fight me, you fucking dafty man. Fucking, I had to look back. I was going to kill him, man. Fucking <laughs> I was hell, just going to stab him to death, man. Fuck it. I was that tripping. And fucking the police turned up, didn't they, man? I was like, bastard. <laughs> it's my scheme, dude. <laughs> 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 fucking, I, I, get, I get to jail, man. But fucking, the week before that, actually, I forgot to say, eh, uh, I went into the doctors 
I was like, I'm not leaving until I see a doctor. They're like, you need an appointment. I was like, look, I, f- I fucking, I'm insane. Like, something's not right. I, I need medication. I'm going to die. You know, like, you need to book an appointment. So I just sat there, like, I'm not moving. Polish came, didn't they? Fuck fucking, sake. I ended up walking around the corner with my gaff. The police pressed the buzzer. I opened my door. Straight away, screws done that. He's fat. So I couldn't open my door, know what I mean? Aye. I've done that. What the fuck you doing, man? Let me shut my own door. And they're like, no. Nah. I was been back and forth for a wee two minutes. I was like, fuck it. I said to my cousin Josh, I was like, video this. I don't know why, but I gave him my phone, like, video this. I ran into the kitchen, grabbed a kitchen knife, ran out, man. Fucking <laughs> hell, man. Ran into the post. Aye, the screws like that, man. Pepper sprayed his, man. Or whatever the fuck it was, he sprayed his way, man. But I was like, ah, man, no way. As soon as I put my horn in my eyes, man, turkeyed. They pressed a the panic alarm, man. There was blue lights everywhere. The full street was shut down, man. Fucking hell, man. Is get... this when you were still doing your, your psychotic aye, episode, aye? Aye. Right. So I get to jail. Fucking, I ended up getting bail. I get fucking bail the next day, man. I was like, ah, what the fuck? Anyway, I ended up getting that locked back, didn't I? And the police caught us. Then I got remanded. Fucking... But straight away, man, there were mental health assessments and that. I went in straight away and see the voices, mate, right. in the jail. See, because everybody talks at the Indies and Aye. the banging of the doors, the keys. Oh, mate, I've never been so terrified in my whole life, man. Really? The Aye. psychosis was ripping me a new arsehole, man. Fucking like, hell, man. I was terrified, man. Like, I was like, no, nah, man, I need to go down the digger. I need to, I, I can't go, go and mix with all these kinds of exercise and that. Mm-hmm. I went out to exercise, man. I didn't know who to talk to, I didn't know any cunt, so I was just fucking standing there myself. Every cunt's just looking at us, man, fucking, I was like, man, they've got to do me, man, some cunt's got to dust me. Fucking came down to dinner, the plates came round, I was sitting with a cut of tea, man. The past man opened the door, he's like, right, plates. I was like, you get the plate, you fucking bun it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you need to horn me the plate, obviously. I was like, no, I don't. He's just like, what? You fucking weird at a certain he said. And I bounced up and scalded him with the tea, man. Fuck, oh, did you? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> the screws came in, man, booted me in the balls, lifted his half a grin with a kick. <laughs> <laughs> I was about eight stone at this time, so I hadn't had eaten in a month. And fucking, I was like, kill me, fucking kill me. They were like, kill you, neighbor. Fucking, they broke my ribs. Gave us a big black eye, man. Doing a digger. They kick fuck at you, eh? Aye, aye Where was this, Bullany? Bullany, aye, aye, aye. Lerald is, man. Aye, shock for them, fuck's sake, Bullany. <laughs> And fucking, and doing a digger. Uh, I thought I was to go to court on the Monday. The Monday came, and nothing happened. I was like, you're bamming me up, man. Like, I'm supposed to be at court. I'm like, no, you're not, it's tomorrow. The morrow came. I'm like, no, you're not at court today, it's tomorrow again. So I was like, fuck this, smash my telly up. Boiled the kettle, man, the screws kicked the door. <laughs> I was like, right, come in. <laughs> and the branch sneaked the door, man, waited till the water Killed him, came in, done us again, man. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the, the boys down there were like, you're after nut, man, you need to see a psychiatrist. And I was like, how did I do that? And I asked to see a nurse and then say, I asked to see the nurse and I was like, look, I'm hearing voices now, man, I'm paranoid, I think I'm in the Bible now, I'm fucking suicidal. And fucking, and I was like, right, get your psychiatrist. I sat with him. After about 20 minutes, he's like, I'll give you a lanzapine and cetrolene for your depression, the lanzapines for the voices. And fucking, I went back in the gaff, I just started greeting, man. I was like, that's what broke my mum and my dad, I mean, both of them are schizophrenic, so it was like... Oh, are they? I they, so they, they were on a lanzapine as well. Right. As soon as he said a lanzapine, I was like, I'm going to end up with my mum and my dad, know what I mean? Fucking hell. I was hell like, man. my daughter, man, know what I mean? I was like, I'm going to lose my way and I'm going to lose my house, I'm going to lose everybody. Mm-hmm. I was terrified, man, I was like... I went, I seen him, I was to see him every week, I seen him next week, and I was like, does that mean I'm a paranoid schizophrenic? And he's like, aye. I was like, shit, man. I was like, right, give me the highest dose of that, man, for fuck's sake. Right, and fucking ended up fucking taking the meds, about two weeks later, I started, I, I couldn't bang down the wall, he's like, Danny, you back to normal, I've no heard you shouting this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> like, looking about. I was like listening, like, and I hear the voices and that. I was like, bro, I'm back to fucking normal. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a big sigh of relief, man. I was like, no way, on the buzzer, man. I'm back to normal. He <laughs> 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 was like, no, they were like, thank fuck about time. They're fucking weirdo, man. <laughs> so is that doing the digger? Aye. Aye, because I was I tried to scold the screws. They right. gave us a month through, so I was doing that for a month. 
I'm back up the hole, man. Fucking back to normal. Started hitting the gym, that. And then I thought, you know what, COVID came, didn't it? So oh, it was no gym. You in the gym, the gym during COVID nah. then? Aye, fucking hell, man. So how was that for you, that experience? What were you doing? Was this a follow come up with then? Uh, I signed the section. Fucking... So I get took up early. I get 30 months, I done 15 on. Now, did you know Hingway? Obviously, tell him about obviously your psychotic episode and that. Aye. Kind of, and did they know really fast? Aye, they, they took that off. Or did they take that I would have got hammered, see, for chasing the screws with the nah, kitchen I suppose, knife. I suppose 30 months for that is a bit of a result. Aye, that was, I, I got 30 months for that and the lockback together. Right, right, so I suppose if you're keeping your it. And it was my first lockback, I don't know. Nah, aye, man, so you could have got a book for you. So what a result. A, right, 15 months, not too bad. So long were you in Earth Covid then? Right until I got out, man, the COVID was going on. When did uh, you get out? 2020? Um, when did you get in? Do you remember now? 23rd of September. Must have been 2019. Right, so probably December 2020 then. That's about right. That would have been 15 months later. Aye, you done 15 months later. So is that the last time you'd spent in the jail? Aye. So how has it been since you got out for that sentence? Because that's quite recently. That's what, nearly two years ago or something. Two years ago, aye. So I've not been back on the green. I have you no, good no stuff. No touched it, man. That scarred me for life, mate. I can imagine, mate. So are you still on medication now? Aye. Right. So will you be on medication the rest of your life, mate? Hopefully, like aye. I don't want to come off man. Oh, really? So aye. Just the thought of going through that again. My daughter seen me like that. No, oh, right. Aye. So Jen, she I was know. old enough to be aware of what was going on. No, but aware of what was actually going on, but, but to actually see that, she remember. Aye. It. I remember when I was like five and my dad was walking about the house with a sword and he was hearing voices. Not know what I mean. I remember seeing him and thinking to myself. It looks my, like my dad, but it's no him. Right. You know what I mean? And uh-huh. that feeling always stuck with me for my, for my full life, man. So what? It was weird, because he was going through psychosis at that point. He was fucking... He's like, this is how you fight son, not waving a sword about. He had a three-piece three piece suit on with a cellic tap. Right, <laughs> fucking <laughs> hell. That's, that's that's how how through, I, I was like, ah, man, what the fuck? You just shot at that sword, couldn't even pick it up. <laughs> man, it was mental, man. Fucking hell, because that's what they say about schizophrenia and that kind of thing. See if uh, you're prone to it, see if it's uh, her- if it's hereditary. Nah. And that kind of thing. See when you're going through your, your episode till you get to jail, were you still smoking green? Did you at any point think... No, my pals not stopped coming to see me. Everybody stopped coming to see me, so I couldn't get it for anywhere. Right, so it triggered the, the, the hang with the, that condition and it just kind of stuck with you kind of thing. Right, because it's obviously you touch on that quite a lot in your music and that kind of stuff. So, see... When you get out, see when that during that sentence, were you still make music, you still writing raps? Did writing, you writing every day. I wouldn't watch telly or nothing, just sit. You don't get CDs in bar, what I mean? So it's mm. like, yeah, listen to fucking inside radio. Ah, I know. <laughs> inside radio, know what I mean? <laughs> fucking barrel fucking station. Yeah. Barbed wireless. So, so aye, barbed wireless. So I was fucking sitting, writing rhymes every day, man. When I go out, I'd like fucking. Uh, about nine tunes ready, man. No, really, aye. Do you think, uh, see, being able to write in that, it helped you kind of deal with, obviously, having to come to terms with your condition? That, that was the first time I was writing lyrics, no stoned. Was that, aye? Aye. So, like, when I was taking it serious, I knew how to write in that. The uh-huh. first time when I was in Pullman, like, I was just writing rhymes. I never knew bars and, like, chorus bars. Not I mean, I didn't aye. know how to structure a song or nothing. Mm-hmm. Knew I knew how to do it, but I, was, I, was, I wasn't stoned. Fucking, I was writing a lot more. Mm-hmm. They're creative, I know. Mm-hmm. It was fucking... That was mad. Aye, so it's, I feel as if, see, it's good to write like, sober, see if people get used to writing stone, because then you get in that frame of mind, oh, I can only write this last time I'm stoned. But it's not, it's a lot of shit, man, but it's just a fucking, it's a delusion, you know what I mean? But see, uh, at what point did you decide, like, right, I'm actually... Was that the kind of turning point? You're like, ah, right, I'm going to take this music thing seriously, because you've been hamming the tunes out since... Since I've heard about you, know what I mean, in the past year or so? Aye, that's been nearly seven years now I've been putting music out. Is that aye? That psychosis obviously stopped, like, that was a big part of that seven year, man, so that took away a good 16 months of my, my life, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. after I got out, got out, I was like straight away, man, uh, I lost my house, right? right. But my missus kept my computer, my mic, my fucking... I've written basically kept everything for the house, so I had a mate and all that sitting waiting for us. Right. So I was like straight away, man. Made a tune, made jail part or two, and then I made stand alone. That's when I started getting into like the psychosis and that. Know what I mean? I was uh-huh. started expressing it, and people were like, like relating and that. Know what I mean? They were like understanding this. I I've went through this with 
not just herself, like there's, they've seen family members mm-hmm. not go through it, uh-huh. and they're like, aye, it's fucking... So what has there been the reception to that kind of thing? Because, uh, see, you don't really hear people... I, I, yours is probably one of the only tunes, especially in Scotland, you're naturally talking, like, gone deep into, like, your psychosis and that. Not just saying you had psychosis, you're actually gone deep into your thoughts and feelings at that time. So do you feel as if the reception has been quite positive as such? Aye. A couple of people have said to me it's helped, helped them understand it a bit better, know what I mean? uh uh-huh. And because they've got family members that go through it, and he's the same, nobody goes near them, know what I mean? Like, but he's like, no, I understand it a bit more because I've heard it for you, and it's fucking. A lot of people are fucking like. I've had some people saying, I think that's what I'm going through right now. <laughs> right, <laughs> aye, so, so I've been able to say, right, you need a lanzapine. It's the only fucking thing that works uh-huh. for schizophrenia, know what I mean? And I said to a kid's man, go to your doctor's first, but obviously don't fucking. That's self-medicate. Aye, aye. But fucking, a lot of people have been like, how did you get half a green in that? I was like, I needed the jail. <laughs> so I, came off I again, know, man. it was like, when they recommend your way of coming uh, off it? Because it's fucking, you end up getting to jail and all that kind of shit. But, uh, so see, at that point, was that when you kind of realised, wait a minute, I'm actually helping people with my music? So was that when you realised, right, this is kind of, this is why I make this music kind of thing, so it almost gives you purpose in that sense? Aye, uh, it's like, I've always said it, for the moment I heard Mike Righteous, I was like, this is what I need to do in my life, it's like, I need to give this gift back to people, there's nobody in Scotland emotionally reaching out to people that are fucking suicidal or struggling, know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. there is people who have covered the topics, but there's nobody, like, actual... Like, that's why I made Empathy. Like, the full album is just me trying to get you to prevent prevent you from committing suicide, know what I mean? No, I... I want, I've made 12 tracks, well, 11 tracks on it. There must be one, one track on it, at least, that you can play when you're in a dark place and think to yourself, right, I'm not alone. I can fucking, I can do something in my life. Daft Annie's doing it, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We can fucking, it, it, does, it isn't like this forever. Uh-huh. It, it does, there is good and there's bad, but sometimes the good outweighs the bad, know what I mean? And you can keep going. Aye, uh, uh, it's just about being positive and that kind of mm-hmm. thing. And I listen to Empathy all their own. And it does, man, it's like, it's dead poignant because you do, you, you, have, you reach into like, the darkness, man. But that's the only place you, you see if you want people to kind of understand or people to relate. You need to kind of bear all because, there's no point in pussyfooting in it because it, 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 people want to hear how they're actually feeling and they want to hear like a diluted yeah, version yeah. it kind of thing. See, when you t- talk about like one day you just woke up and you suddenly felt empathy, like you suddenly felt guilty for all the stuff you've done, is that why you've named this album Empathy? Aye. Is that what's carried over and you've called it that? Empathy, aye. Ah, brilliant, man. So, what do you want to be remembered for? Just a good dad. Aye, aye. Yeah, a good dad. Brilliant. Are you... Does your daughter stay with you? Aye. Does she? Aye, brilliant, man. See, uh, does she know you make music and that kind of thing? Or is she old enough to kind of understand? Well, she get to that, what, what are you going to wait till she's old enough and introduce she her? We show the videos sometimes, but she's like, your daddy on TV. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't understand. She jumps about with my hat's on, no. Ah. Kind of she's fucking, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wee rap star in the making, yeah. isn't it? See, uh, see, is your past behind you in terms of like, your trauma you've dealt with? Are you still dealing with a lot of your issues? I went to Turkey this year, right? And no, last year, sorry. And I thought my anxiety and that and my depression was controlled mm-hmm. because of the medication and that. Because I'd went a good few months without feeling a panic attack or that. But see, as soon as the plane took off, oh, wow, man. <laughs> oh, really? Aye. Aye, I was like, I'm going to wait, eh, man. Fuck panic him. attack central, man. <laughs> Panicked all the way to Turkey, man. And then we got off the plane. I was like, I'm a million miles away from him, man. I was like, I feel pure lost. My sister's like, I fucking cheer up, you don't hold him, man. I'm like, I'm fucking, my mind's no coping with this, man. Really? Aye. And, like, it took me like three, four days, man, to actual fucking buck up my courage to actually go out and get like, a dinner on that. Oh, I mean? really? Aye. Aye, I was fucking in my bed, shaking like a leaf, pure, the worst anxiety I've ever felt in my life, man. Is that the first time you've left the country? Aye. Is it? Aye, I can imagine see spending, especially Turkey. Turkey's a fucking roasting. You know what I mean? So you're getting aye, it's, it's like a new new climate. No, I see. don't cope well with the fucking heat. Oh, air here. No, I mean 40 aye, degrees aye, there, man. I could, could have started off with Spain or something, broke yourself in, eh? Aye. But there, as soon as we got there, I was like, right, get the aircon, man. How <laughs> <laughs> long are you there for? 10 days. 10 days so far. It's a long time, especially if you're no. 
no enjoying it, man, but did you eventually set in and kind of get yeah, with I it? I started liking it, aye, it was brilliant. Uh, uh, was it the thing you were leaving, but you're like, I fucking don't I leave uh, here, I'm starting to like it. Uh, I got my first tattoo, I know. Oh, did you, aye? Uh, I did the whole whisper in my ear. But where, when did you get that? In Turkey? In Turkey, aye. Did you get that in Turkey, aye? For fuck's sake, have you got a sleeve as well? Is that the ones in your hands? No, I just got my hands done. I'm going to do... Did you get that in Turkey as well? No, go that for Christmas. Go that a couple months ago. Aye. Never give up. But I got the, the devil whispering in my ear for the psychosis now, obviously. Aye. Fucking. But I, uh, I just want to be remembered as a good dad and somebody that was real and honest to yourself, you know what I mean? Nah, you definitely are that, man. See, you need to can doubt that in you. Your music is raw as fuck and you don't really hear it. In Scotland especially, man, you're pure better out of the soul, man. I feel like I know you already if you just listen to your music. And there's obviously, that, bro. Nah, and there's obviously people listening to it that can connect with it. Cause you're uh, you should see the, the messages I get, man. Big paragraphs. Like, really, aye? I don't know how to reply to them. Not I mean, that. like my job stops at the music. I don't know how to become a therapist. Not I mean, uh. like in the comments section. <laughs> but I've had, I've had like uh, it was four people say to me that I've actually prevented them from killing themselves. Not I mean, so it's like I've done my job. Not I mean, uh, I fucking done exactly what you aim to do today. Aye, I, I aim to help just one person aye. in Scotland and. Turned out a couple, so. uh, if you've helped one man, you've done your job in it, but as you say, you've got a couple and it's still ongoing, especially because you've just released an album like a couple of weeks ago. Aye. So, no, I mean, that's just it. But uh, see, in terms of like, your old habits and that, is that you'll see like, committing crime? Is that all behind you? Is it, have you got a totally different aye. mindset now, you'd say? Aye, grown up now, aye, that's all past now. I don't even jump about the scheme anymore on that, man. But, you know, just keep yourself yourself. I'm still talking about the boys now, but I don't go down. The, can't be doing with the drama, man. Nah, no, of I'm course. Fucking, if you want to stay out of jail, you know what I mean, especially because it's easy if you get back into like old crowds and that, it's easy for that old mindset to keep back in and I thought, you know, you're back in the jail. You know what I mean? There's nothing worse than you're back in the jail and you've got everything gone for you, you know what I mean? It's not right. All my trips are fucking prone to fucking stab and fuck it, I can So it's like, go be there one night and you're going to end up doing a lifer just for being there, you know what I mean? I know, I know. It's happened, mate. It's happened. Fucking stranger things have happened, man. One so, stab and that's it, man. I know, I know. And it always seems to happen like this kind of shit when you're fucking doing well, you know what I mean? So it's probably best. It does, doesn't it? Aye, ah, always, always does. Never, always never when you're in about it, man. It's always when you're doing well, no way to get involved. Fucking shit hits the fan. So what's the plans for the future in terms of, do you plan on gigging or that kind of thing? Uh, Nebdy gives us a shout. So is it is that the reason? Cause I, I actually was thinking that lately. I was uh, he releases a lot of music, but I've never seen him at a gig. I it, think it's causing my flow. See, I need to work on my flow a bit. Know what I mean? See, once my flow's perfected, uh-huh. I think I'll get respect after other artists in Scotland. Right. And then that way they might start giving the shouts and that. But like, uh, Mike Righteous, I ended up fucking doing a tune with him, and he's like. A couple of months ago, he's like, ah, Danny, I'm doing a gig in Glasgow. I want you to support me. F- fucking, that was my first gig in years, man. Oh, did you support him, eh? Aye. Dynamite, where was that? Yeah, at the Hugging Pint. Nice, man. So, was that, how did you end up talking to me, Righteous? Uh, when I done a tune with him, I got him on WhatsApp. So, how did you end up getting in touch with me to a tune? Uh, he was putting up offers. Was that that thing he was putting Aye. up an offer for? Mate, I see, was it just recently? No, I was a couple of months back, about seven months ago. Aye, but recently this year, because I seen him... And posting up, he was doing like uh, features and he was doing it for a, a discount price. I messaged him and I thought it was a scam because it was like I was talking to him. See, just one he wanted, I thought somebody had hacked his account Aye. and somebody was like, ah, I'm doing features, saying this. The, oh, no, I'm not going to say what the prices were, not kind of But I was like, ah, it seems a bit fishy and I just <laughs> left it, man. But I was looking and obviously we shared Aye. shit and I was like, maybe that is him, but I just never went back to it, man. But I so did you end up doing a feature with him? Aye. Is the tune released? Aye. Is it? I know, I've not heard it. We need to check it out. Eh, uh, but. Ended up doing the gig with him, man. Fucking got to meet him and that. And fucking, it was mad. I, I didn't know about Because obviously, as an artist, you get it yourself after a gig. Like every cunt comes up to you, like, blah, 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 this and that. Aye. I didn't know about to bombard him with fucking. I love you and all that, man. You you're that shit, you know what I mean? Of course, of course. It's just like. You know what I mean, wouldn't you? You must so, know, you know, you know your impact, you know what I mean? Aye, uh, so did you chat to him at all? Aye. <laughs> so what was the saying then? What, what, did you did you go up and say to him, listen, you've done a lot for me, kind of thing? No. Just chat to him normal? Just chat to him normal, but after I'd done my set, he's like, I fucking love you, bro. I was like, I love you, bro. <laughs> 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 I was like to him, no matter what, never give up, man, always stay strong, bro. And he's like, as long as I'm here, you're here. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, I was like, respect, man. Got a photo in that. Aye, it was, it was mad. See, let's, I remember saying years ago, I'll do a tune with him one day. He, he'll bring me out to a gig. I remember saying it, tripping out my nut in a hostel. 
and then all these years later it happened I was like man if Esty done ah, it man I love a cracking bro <laughs> love cracking. it was mental man how was the crowd reception did that oh make? they loved us man did they aye nah, it was, oh, that, there was a live clip out on my Facebook man but aye so in terms of gigs and that so what's your plan just to get gigging that kind of thing obviously you've released your album where, where do you go for now what's the next step master my flow master your flow so just go back to the drawing board and work on it aye put a lot of work into my flow I'm doing quite well on TikTok, man. Fucking 18,000 followers or something. I've noticed just that, mate. You're getting a lot of views on your, your uh, videos and that. And yeah. see, obviously, the videos of your students and that. The hate you get on that button. Isn't it? Ah, Weird, it's because it's fucking Wayne's, <laughs> Wayne's, mate. Wayne's, aye. It's with me 12-year-olds and that. You'd see, boys, if you're that age, you know, you'd have done the exact aye, same thing, you know what I mean? But, people, people this. Ah, <laughs> that's it, man. But see, the thing is, the more comments you get, the more views you get, because it's pushing your video out, the more comments, they see the more engagement. So, take it with the positives in it, man. But I should keep at it, mate. Definitely see. I've noticed a lot of people connecting. You're 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 bringing something to Scotland that isn't really getting shown. No, I mean, cause people are trying to try to do this real shit, try to sound what, relevant. Fair play, and they're about to get their music out there. But you're staying raw. You're staying true. You're selling, as you say. You're literally saving lives. Right? You're doing what you set out to do, and now you're starting to get. You've done a gig and a tune with McBrightshes. You've got your album out. No, I mean, I'm sure it's probably done for you as much as it's done for our people. So stick at it, mate. I'm looking forward to hearing more for you anyway, man. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, is there anything else you want to promote? I'm just going to finish it off. Uh, so where can people listen to your album? Uh, Danny Kelly TV on YouTube. Uh, I'm Danny Kelly official on every other platform. Uh, if you want to buy a CD, links on my Facebook page. I'll tag you. I'll put all your wee links and I'll get your links and I'll stick them down your That's bio, right. man. But it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you, mate. I appreciate you coming up, man. But I appreciate I get, you getting his own, bud. Uh, not, not at all, mate. I really love your music. I love what you do, mate. It's the honesty, man. It's like... It's a breath of fresh air. I listened to it all alone. It made me want to write. No, I mean it made me want to kind of do that. No, I mean so I kind of have wanted that trap. I try to just write tunes for the sake of sounding good, but I'm actually not. It's a lot of fucking connect with people. It's you need to kind of bear all with the soul, man, and get that therapeutic feel into it, man. So thank you for coming, man. But Respect, an absolute pleasure having you, mate. Danny Kelly, people like subscribe and don't get away. Catch you. <laughs>